Microphone chicken one two. Ah, oh, microphone chicken one two. Ow! Oh. Yo, what's good? What's going on, players? It's Big Lead, and I'm bringing you an early morning motherfucking Uncharted 4 multiplayer action packed pussy pack buck wild, rub wild commentary. It's all going down today. Now, like I said in the last video that I uploaded just last night, which should be up right now, is I have so much fucking videos I have to offload. I have to get the fuck off my laptop, man. So I'm going to be throwing up videos like a motherfucker. Like I've been drinking all night and I'm throwing them up. That's how it's going to be going down, baby. So today I'm bringing you some more Uncharted 4 multiplayer team deathmatch once again. Rolling with my boy Wesker. Putting in work. Put him in the dirt. See him, see a bitch twerk? You got big booties? Lift your shirt? All that kind of shit. Oh, man. God damn. So I need a topic today of what I'm going to talk about because usually I just talk about a gang of shit and I might, you know, commentate on the, some of this action that's going down. But um, if you're more into, first of all, I'd just like to say, if you're more into live commentaries, then do stay tuned because I got some live commentaries coming soon. I recorded a shitload the other night and they're all in my bank waiting to be open, opened and brought to life in a brand new lead manic way. God damn it, it's going down. Pip Matic, once again, bring his daddy. All you bitches better run back to your house, Matic. I don't know what the hell that was, but that's what it's going to be. <laughs> so today I thought I'd talk about something a bit extra than the gameplay, and that's how to improve your game style, or KD, or how to improve dramatically in the Uncharted 4 multiplayer. However way you want to shape it, mold it, scrape it, flip it, shake it up and rub it down, you're going to be improving one way or the other. Now, <clears throat> let me just lay out a couple of ground rules first of all. A couple of ground rules to keep going. I'm no pro player at this shit, right? I'm no pro player whatsoever. But I am experienced. Usually I do win matches, but I'm not the best player. Not every time I'm on the top of the scoreboard. Usually I'm one of the top, like... I'm usually I'm top three of the scoreboard, like most games. That's not saying I'm the best player. I just know how to play. I've played the series before. I'm very knowledgeable and I know what to do. So with that said, I can give you guys a few tips which should work for you. Now, Uncharted, Uncharted multiplayer as a whole is a cover-based third-person shooter. So, all you see around the motherfucking map is cover. Like in this example, I'm hiding behind cover, I take him down, and then I chuck an item which is going to fuck the sidekick up. Which is really great by the way, El Dorado. I love that shit. Um, so, you want to take as much cover as you can constantly. And boosters certainly, there's a couple of boosters, most of them are trash for the general part. But there are a couple of good boosters that, and if, especially if you're rolling with a team, I highly recommend rolling with at least a couple of friends and a team. Uh, microphones help because you can like make call outs. Like, oh, he's in the West Wing, or he's in the Bell Tower. Which, <laughs> you'll hear me do in the live commentary. Uh, apart from, you know, on top of all the other, like, racial jokes and slurs that go down. And I just thought I'd commit random suicide, just because I'm a boss like that. Fuck that, I'm finna check out whenever I get down. Wow. Anyway, back on topic. Ah, oh, shit, where was I? Uh, commit suicide, what are talking about? Oh, yeah, cover-based system, that's right. <laughs> God damn. Um, there's so much cover, so you want to take as much cover as you can constantly. Um, a booster, which will definitely help you out a lot, is the marker ability. Marker 1 is not that good, it just marks an enemy for like 3 seconds. But when you, the more you use that, you can uh, unlock marker 2 and marker 3. And um, with marker 3, or even with marker 2, when you mark someone, it will uh, outline their, their character. Like, you'll be able to see them through walls and what action they're doing. And with marker 3, when you mark someone, um, it will also mark the enemy opposition if they're close nearby to the person you marked. For example, if I mark this bitch behind the rock there, if there was anyone within, I think it's like 5 meters or 10 meters, they'll also get highlighted. So that's very helpful. And I'm recommending that as a beginner's booster to equip. Another booster, which I also use, which I recommend to equip, uh, to a beginner would be the revive um, booster. Now revives play a very very big role in Uncharted 4 
Um, in fact, we've never had them in the series. We didn't have them in two. I don't think we had them in three. No, we didn't. Um, we had them in The Last of Us, which is a totally different um, like franchise. And get on, Drake, you little motherfucker. Can't believe I missed. But anyway, um, so Uncharted, in Uncharted 4, we got the revive system. So how that works uh, is just it's like a basically a big second chance thing. Like you get the down and then you have the option of finishing them off. Or if you're on the other team, you have the option of reviving your teammate and bringing him back. So it's all about getting the KOs. The downs won't win the game. The KOs win. Which you get the KO after they've been down. <clears throat> Excuse me. I haven't had my coffee yet. I'm all kind of congested and shit. God damn. <clears throat> anyway. <clears throat> shit, I'm going to have a fucking double shot latte after this shit. Speaking of lattes, I was playing against the gamer tag who said latte 1987 last night. So shout out to that weird motherfucker who decided to name himself after a coffee. Anyway. Um, so Reviver 1 will, I think will, it'll improve your revives. And you want to revive as much as you can, but obviously don't jump out in front of a gunfight to revive someone because you're just going to get... A lot of good players will use you as bait and just fuck you up when you go for the revive. But um, when you finally unlock Reviver 3, which you get by just using Reviver, getting revives with Reviver equipped uh, constantly, um, you will get Reviver 3. And what that does, it, it improves your reviving speed by 50%, which is enormous, guys! A 50% increase to a revive is so fucking quick, man. I did it the other night at the party and my friends were like, What the fuck? So, you know, it's definitely noticeable. And it also revives into full health, which is fucking really good. Like, kind of a little bit overpowered, actually. Because usually when you get revived, you're like on a quarter or a half health and you have an easy chance of going back down again. But when you get brought back to life on 100% health, that turns the tables if someone's attacking you and your reviving teammate. Holy shit, let me tell you. And I think that's only three or four loadout points. It might be five, I'm not too sure, I can't remember. But those two boosters, I recommend equipping for a beginner. So equip revive, equip a marker, try and get up to level three to help the team out. And you might want to play more conservative, uh, conservatively for a long time. Um, to learn the map layout, to learn the spawns. To learn the spawns is not really too hard, you just kind of get get used to it and you learn the predictions of what side of the map we're gonna... Usually it's the other opposite side of the map, but you'll kind of get a feel for it. Um, what else for a beginner? Yeah, just try and lay back, play the reviving role. You might want to equip a long range weapon, like the foul or something. Although I, th I feel the foul is kind of a difficult gun to use at first for a beginner because it's a three burst uh, assault rifle and um, <clears throat> it's kind of tricky I guess I mean I'm not the best with a foul but it is a strong weapon if you can use it correctly I probably recommend maybe getting some attachments for that like some hero maybe some hero unlocks on the foul or something I'm not too sure I haven't played around with the foul too much but I'll, I'll let you guys know eventually when I do that but um, yeah, you might want to lay back with uh, all round decent gun like the AK-47 or maybe try a sniper rifle if that's your thing. Um, and watch this epic C4 kill coming up, man. I'm fucking with C4. Boom! Look at all that good shit go down, man. See, I love the C4, but I just wish you could carry two of them at the same time. Um, another thing I'm going to quickly recommend as this game's coming to a close just for a beginner would be the mystical, the staff of IR Manko. It's really good and really cheap for like, I think the first purchase and BOOM! Smack your noggin, bitch! I think the first purchase is $300. So that is really good and the staff is a really good weapon. Especially if you're rolling in a team, you're just gonna pop stomp like a motherfucker. So equip the staff, get help, helper, get revive. Play conservative, conservatively, god damn it, am I gonna learn that word? And um, you'll see your, your game will improve. Don't rush out into the open like a maniac. Uh, but look at this clutch gameplay, man. I'm just ignoring the Elder Rider that was launched there. I'm running around, getting the revive. I take cover. Oh shit, Wesker's down again, man. Come on, man. Crawl to me, crawl to me. Crawl to me, crawl to me. I get the revive. I grab, I run behind the fucking column. These motherfuckers is shooting. Shooting shit. 
I get the revive grenades going off. Look, another motherfucking grenade just went down. West get, getting down instantly again. I chuck the Eldorado. They're coming at me. I get the fourth revive, I think it is. And this mother suicidal mother bitch is running at me trying to shake me down. He gets down, but I get him down with my Eldorado. And then my fucking, my wolf pack is coming back in to revive me eventually. That's a motherfucking revive, guys. That's some reviving ass shit. And that was some good gameplay. Um... I'm off to have a coffee. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to look into my tips if you're a beginner. And good luck out there. And own those noobs. Sacrifice them. Peace out, guys.